just little things like lying or cheating in the name of you know, personal interest is not the nature of Vaishnava. Vaishnava will always act in, in an exemplary way. When Prabhupada was asked, how do you tell a Vaishnava? Someone asked Prabhupada. Prabhupada said, he is a perfect gentleman or she is a perfect lady. In other words, they give respects to everyone. That's a Vaishnava. Even to the non-devotees who are sinful, they still give respects, but they may not associate with, but still, they see all living entities as part and parcel of Krishna. So some very sanguine advice that's given here by um, Akrur to Dhritarashtra. And he's kind of indicating, all right, you took the throne illegally, but now you're there. Anyway, act properly. Rule as a king is supposed to rule because Prabhupada says the king is like a father. Just like it says there are, we mentioned there are seven mothers. And one of the mothers is the wife of the leader of the head of state. She is also considered to be one's mother. The wife of the leader of the head of state. She's also mother. Mother is also the wife of the brahmanas. She's called Brahmani. Well, mother is also Mother Cow. She's also Mother. The nurse in Vedic culture, when a child was being born, there would always be a wet nurse there to assist the mother in bringing the child forward. And she is also called Mother like that. And then what is the other mothers? Let's see. Earth. One, two, three. Wife of a, the leader, the wife of a Brahmani, the nurse, the cow, Mother Earth, that's five. Oh yeah, one's own mother is seen as mother. Huh? And the, well, that's the wife of the leader, and the same thing, yeah. Huh? That's not mentioned, but we, we refer to that way, Gung, Gung, Gunga Devi. Uh, well, that's part of the earth, too. That's why we, we, the rivers are also considered mother in a sense. They're connected to the earth. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, what is that called? Guru Patni. Guru Patni, yeah, the wife of the guru. Yeah. So these are the seven mothers. And it says if you disrespect your mother, it's a great sin. Or you neglect your mother or you exploit your mother, there's a great sin. So people don't know how to live to it nowadays and therefore they're committing sinful activities all the time. And that's why there are so many problems. <laughs> so many problems, only because of sinful activity. Therefore, it's our duty to spread this Krishna consciousness movement. Each and every one of us has a responsibility to give Krishna consciousness to others according to the capacity that we are in. We may do it in one way, we may do it in another way, but it's our duty because everyone is suffering. Mother Earth is also going through some turmoil like that. And uh, I think he, I think Jim, somebody was telling me yesterday about the, some of the natural disasters that are going on. It's it's the, the ones that are recorded is the ones you hear about, but we don't hear about all of them. <laughs> so many are going on. So anyway, uh, just to give you a little insight of what is the duty of a, a ruler, he has to be like a father who is concerned with the welfare of both the earth and of the citizens. He's treated in that way and respected in that way. He's given the position by God himself and therefore it's a great responsibility. And therefore he has to live up to these qualities. But <clears throat> you don't find much saintly rule on the planet nowadays. The last Vaishnava leader was 
what was his name in Nepal? There was a Krishna conscious king in Nepal for many years. King Devendra, I think his name was. Devendra, yeah. He's there and he's not there anymore. That was years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'll stop here and see if there's any comments or questions. Do we have questions coming in from the outside too? Can they, can they send questions in? Any questions here? Mm -hmm. mm, Jai Baladev. Any questions here? Mm -hmm. mm, Jai Baladev. Charges. So there you go. Uh, Any questions here? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your um, mm, Jai Baladev. Thank you for your presence. Yeah, I should call you again. Uh, charges. You were talking about carrots, sir. Uh, Any questions here? Have carrots, sir. Mm -hmm. um, I guess thank you for your. Um, mm -hmm. Should I bother them? Construction going on here. Should I again? Um, should I just outside? You were talking okay. about carrots, sir. Uh, Any questions here? Have carrots, sir. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess thank you for your um Should I bother them? Construction going on here. Okay, just talk a little louder. You were talking about carrots, sir. Any questions here? Have carrots, sir. Um, I guess thank you for your um Should I bother them? Construction going on here. Okay, just talk a little louder. You were talking about carrots, sir. Any questions here? Have carrots, sir. Um, I guess thank you for your um Should I bother them? Construction going on here. Okay, just talk a little louder. You were talking about carrots, sir. Any questions here? Have carrots, sir. Um, I guess thank you for
to say what my mission is. Don't come to the heaven to establish this God. He yeah. said, establish these five communities of God. That's why he said, 50% of my mission is. Not that everyone can live on this God. Yeah. For the great masters, they will be leading that type of lifestyle. For the brahmacharis and sannyasis, not that everyone can live on this God. For the great masters, they will be leading that type of lifestyle. Families need the environment where they can raise children and live on it, take care of their needs, and so they will be able to sell their families and need the environment where they can raise children and live on it, take care of their cultural needs, and so they will be able to sell their families and need the environment where they can raise their children and live on it, take care of their cultural needs, and so they will be able to sell their families and need the environment where they can raise their children and live on it. Any other, any other yes, Maharaj, there's one question. Dr. Uh, Donovan is asking, how is it best to establish relationships with a mother after neglect? Dr. Donovan is asking, how is it best to establish relationships with a mother after neglect? With one's like mother? How is it one's mother? Can you specify how one's mother with mother? Is it more yes. to establish relations after neglect? With one's mother? Can you specify well, one's well, mother with mother? Well, mother, well, mother, well, mother, well, mother, well, mother in in Vedic culture, women were respected in the mother. They were respected. With one's mother? For giving respect, giving honor, giving facility. In Vedic culture, women were respected because it says that there are Five living entities that we give you respect, give you honor, give you culture, brothers, because of the sense of our women, living entities, children, that's a verse, Rabba Bhagavata. And it's the duty of the leaders to make sure that these five categories receive protection, because they need protection by the fire. And it's the duty of the leaders, and if you don't, then you're transgressing religious principles, and there'll be some reactions to those who are 
just given a class in the mosque on the first canto, first verse, first chapter, verse 14, now it says, fear personified is afraid. I had just given a class in the mosque on the first canto. And then, so I was speaking to Mara and then he picked up on his subject. He said, oh, you want to hear a little story how fear works? I said, yeah. And then, so I was speaking to Mara and he picked up on his subject. He said, oh, you want to hear a This is important. We should not be fearful of anything. We should be completely safe. And then, so I was speaking to Mara and he picked up on his subject. He said, oh, you want to hear a little story how fear works? And then, so I was speaking to Mara and he picked up on his subject. He said, oh, you want to hear a little story how fear works? And then, so I was speaking to Mara and he picked up on his subject. So he said, well, there was one little town, small town, and there was one man who was walking around So he said, well, there was one little town, on the outskirts of the town, he sees his man dressed all in white. There was one man who was walking around all in white. So he said, well, there was one little town, on the outskirts of the town, he sees his man dressed all in white. Who are you? One man who was walking. Man lifts his foot up and says, "I'm down." So he goes. I've come to take 500 people within the next month from this town. Man lifts his foot up and says, "So the man gets a little." So he goes. I've come to take 500 people. And then he leaves, and then he goes around telling everyone in the town that that the man gets a little. So he goes. I've come to take 500 people. Thank you. 